Alright, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. So in this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX to solve the quadratic inequality. So the e easiest way is you just go into the menu and then you look for the quadratic uh, the inequality because the calculator can solve more than quadratic. Then you tap equal here. Then it will ask you about the polynomial degree. But over here, I will just focus on the quadratic because in SPM, you will only see about the quadratic only. So which is power 2. Then I tap 2. And then you will see four different type uh, for the inequality. So basically, in uh, over here, I will just tell you this is the same for bigger and bigger equals. You just use the correct sign whenever the question gives you. So in this video, I'll just focus at two type, which is less than and bigger, all right? Because uh, less than and less than equal and bigger and bigger equal are the same, all right? So, okay, so if I want to solve this uh, this question, let's say it's just less than, then I tap two here, then I just insert my um, A, B, and C value. My A is one, my B is four, my C is negative 12. All right, then the calculator actually tell me uh, my x value is between negative 6 and 2. All right, but you need to know why. So basically, when we solve the question like this, right, we kind of need to factorize first. So this one should be x multiplied x to get x squared, and negative 12 will be 6 and 2. You know, to get negative 12, here must be positive 4, this one is plus minus. So if you see carefully for this equation, this inequality, you will see your x should equal to negative 6 and your x should equal to 2. So when I draw out the diagram, negative 6 I will write here and then 2 I will write here. And then less than, that means below the x axis, this is x axis, right? Below the x axis, you see the curve carefully, below the x axis is only this part, isn't it? And you see carefully this part, all the x value for this part, I focus on x value only. Uh, the x value for this part is actually between negative 6 and 2 rays. So therefore, this answer is correct. Okay, what if we do the same question, but the sign is bigger than 0? So if we factorize, we will get back the same thing, uh, which is x plus 6 and x minus 2 bigger than 0. So if I draw out the diagram like this, then this is x axis, right? Bigger than 0 means above the x axis. If you see the graph carefully, you focus at the x value. So basically, right now you have negative 6 and 2 here. Above the x axis, the graph above the x axis is only this part and this part, isn't it? So this part, so we, if you read from the 6 here, any value less than any value less than negative 6, we will just write as x will be less than negative 6. So for this part, is this part of the graph is all the value bigger than 2, isn't it? So the x must be bigger than 2. So if I use the calculator, can I get the same result? So let's see. So yeah, I go back the same thing, the polynomial, and then this bigger, I will find where is my bigger, which is number 1, I will choose number 1. And then I will insert my value again, which is 1. Uh, actually, I already insert just now. So this is, you can see my answer is exactly the same. x is less than negative 6. And then x is bigger than 2. x is bigger than 2. So, yeah. So the, I understand the calculator is like very fast in order to get the correct answer. But as an MF student, you still need to understand the concept in order to get the mark. In your exam but the good thing about calculator is you always can use the calculator to check whether your answer is correct or wrong so if you are interested to buy this calculator i will share the lazada link at my description below the link will bring you to the casio flagship store because right now uh, the casio malaysia are doing the promotion whoever buy this calculator from them they will actually free you a casio l file uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, 
uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.